Got good hairy arms, this one. So I'll give them a little bit of a brush. It's a bonding experience. People have said I've started dressing up my furniture. <laughs> We're in a concrete tower block. It's part of an old residential estate. Like from their 70s, there used to be like a row of shops and they've been turned into art studios. Yeah, I mean like any art studio in London, we're probably about to be knocked down and turned into luxury flats, but for now, we're holding on. <laughs> it's quite nice with the... Do you not like yeah. the brown one? I think it clashes with the other brown. The black's quite classy, isn't it? Interesting. Watch your head as well. What normally happens up here is, well, it's just a dirty work, really. So we've got all the, like, machinery, like bandsaw and chop saw and, like, pillar drill and stuff like that. And I kind of, like, make my prototypes up here. I just do any of the messy work, really. And then all the clean work's downstairs. Oops. How do you get it in? <laughs> This is half the problem though. In fact, we just got a big, uh, bigger door put in the front because um, I was so stressed about this piece. <laughs> He's a master. This is like the bones of the chair. So I usually find old chairs that are kind of broken and I pick ones that I kind of, I'm drawn to, that I see a character in and then I can build my own character. I repair it up here. You just like re-glue all the bits in place, make it super strong. Then just start off with the kind of foam forming. never like putting them on the ground so they don't get dirty paws. You know what I realise? I think my chairs are getting like bigger and bigger. Three girls. So yeah, this is the third version I've made of the Big Fat Sofa. It's all about kind of this like relationship between a woman and her sofa and how after years of spending time on her sofa that her flesh would slowly sort of engulf the frame. When I was working with the upholstery, I felt like a surgeon and that was like body matter. And I really like that idea of kind of the merging of um, an animate object and a, a person, a living person, and then how the two combined makes the whole thing become alive. Each idea comes out differently. It doesn't all come out from like starting with a model or a sketch, but often as well, I just like to play with the material. Always been really into like foam work and like stitching foam. Starting with this and ends up being like the beginning of my stitched end pieces. Is that foam or is that ceramic? That's good. I want it to be like foam. <laughs> it's nice to to be a bit confused and not to really really know what it is. One that went wrong, but then I kind of I just squashed it down. I quite like it. that's where it's interesting with what I do because it is like kind of that blurred edge between art and design and then you have to like really think about how functional it needs to be and there are some pieces that are maybe less functional because they tell a story more purely. Once it's left me it's up for interpretation and as long as people feel something then that's pretty good for me.